Welcome to the 2024 Gun Remote Watch Along. I'll be attending the festival and we're starting off this playlist that you can check out yourself if you want to with the actual opening film of this year's festival as well uh, from Quentin Depardieu. Uh, his new film, Le Deuxième Acte, is going to open the festival and in preparation for it, I ended up watching his film Rubber for the first time. That has become a cult classic already. So this is the only episode where I'm going to do a bit more of a preamble to explain what this project is. We're going to have 11 or so videos in this playlist that while Gun is happening and uh, because most people can't attend it, you can still watch something and prepare for when these movies actually release later in the year or maybe get deeper into a filmography. It's what I do personally at any festival that I go to, I try to familiarize myself with the filmmakers that I'm going to watch new stuff of. And with Rubber, I had a pleasant experience. It's maybe a bit too much of the thing that we've gotten uh, a lot of in recent years with going very meta in the storytelling. I feel like uh, Deadpool has oversaturated us with that sort of meta comedy style, but Rubber is, is, is different enough and entertaining enough that on this very small scale that it operates on in the kills that it gets to do uh, it has a ton of fun and i had a ton of fun with it so this is one if you're not sure if you like uh, quentin depardieu's films well if you enjoy this one you're probably going to like his other ones i haven't seen a ton of them uh at venice last year i got to see dali i don't know if that one's out already on digital but uh, that was another fun one. Smoking Causes Coughing, uh, played two years ago in Cannes. So, so a lot from this director's filmography that you can go check out. Uh, let me know what you think of Rubber. And uh, yeah, hopefully you end up watching it because of my recommendation. Because I can tell you, <laughs> it's it's pretty much a blast. It's, it's pretty morbid. It's pretty straightforward. It's not like it's going to throw you for loops. But then the bits that it creates, I feel like it runs out of steam at one point. About like 30 minutes in and then drags it out to a whole feature length uh, movie. So that's not like, it's not a flawless film, but enjoyable overall. So uh, yeah.